Hey guys, this is Ryan from IamTheKiller.net. This short video is going to be about Snow Leopard and two vulnerabilities. The first one is Snow Leopard ships with an older version of Flash Player. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you install Snow Leopard is get the latest version of Flash Player because the older version it ships with has some vulnerabilities in it. Uh, the second thing I'm going to be touching on is Time Machine. Time Machine has changed within Snow Leopard in a sort of undocumented, weird, uh, backwards way. Um, it's kind of hidden. I found it. Uh, somebody posted an article on Reddit. Um, I followed up an article on my own site, IamTheKiller.net. So what it basically does is we're going to go into Time Machine Preference Pane. Uh, how Time Machine works is it will delete the oldest backups when the back, when your disk becomes full. Your disk can become full for a number of, re number of reasons. Uh, let's say you just let it run constantly and it just keeps backing up stuff so it's obviously going to get full. Or let's say if you plug in an external hard drive that's full of files, forget that Time Machine is running on automatic mode and forget to uh, keep it out of Time Machine it's going to start backing up those files and it's going to need space to do so. So that's one of the reasons why your disk can become full. Now in Leopard you could be you could select an option to be warned when old backups would be deleted meaning you could stop it. So here you can see it says notify after. Notify after old backups are deleted. Before it was notify before old backups are deleted. I have no idea why it changed. There's no reason for it to be changed. So for all Snow Leopard users I suggest you turn off automatic syncing and start syncing manually. Otherwise you might risk you know completely wiping out your entire backup if you forget to uh, exclude a hard drive that you plug in or uh, if your time machine drive is starting to get full. So that's my quick video for today. Uh, just wanted to bring some awareness to that. And hopefully this gets fixed in, you know, 10.6.1 update. But I doubt it. This looks like a feature add-on that Apple decided to, un I don't know why, but change. So that's it. Thanks for watching.